few ibis on that side. On the other side. When you go out on rescue, there's really no consistency. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, he's very lethargic. Oh, it's a bird! <laughs> it's not a possum! No two days are ever the same, and there's always something that ends up surprising you. Oh. It didn't work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what you do for uh, Chandler. Rescue. It's been an incredibly busy morning out on rescue. So now it's time for our lunch break. And it definitely means a packed lunch for Robert. <laughs> you should feel the weight in this. Honestly, Chandler, feel this. Holy <laughs> moly. Mum packs the most legendary lunch boxes of all time. Like, you can open it up and you never know what you're going to get. Chocolate milk. Oh, yes, chocolate bar. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, I mean, to keep a, a wildlife warrior fueled, it takes a lot of fuel. Oh, another chocolate bar. <laughs> I mean, a lot of fuel. Oh, the holy grail. We've got gummy bears. Whoops. Robert is definitely a growing boy. All day, I swear, he's just eating throughout the day. Sorry, Jano. All right. What have you got in your boring bag? Bendy that packs works. great lunches. So we got roasted chickpeas with lime and cracked pepper. We have date balls with toasted coconut, dried figs. It's a disgrace. I mean, it's shameful what he's eating. Maple and dried apple granola. Ugh. Oh. It's this got is... grains in it. It's all so healthy. What even is a chickpea? I love it. Chocolate, peanut butter, jelly. That's where it's at. We are different people. We are different people. Several weeks ago, I injured my shoulder in a biking accident at Australia Zoo. Today, I have to put my sling back on under doctor's orders because it's starting to play up again. So I'm just hoping for one of those rescues that I might be able to help out one-handed. Oh. Australia Zoo Rescue, Renee speaking. Oh, hi, Renee. Um, I'm just on the side of the road and it looks like there's a carpet python that's been hit by a car. It looks really, really bad. There's, there's just blood everywhere. The call that we've just received is an injured snake that's been hit by a car on the road and just left to die. That is not a good sign, especially the reptiles too, because they won't show any sign of injury or that they're in pain until they're pretty much on death's door. That's a fair amount of... It is. Love that he coughs up, hey? There is a lot of blood. It's crazy to think that there's that much blood coming from this snake and that it's still alive. So what he's done here is he's probably just started crossing this road. The road holds a lot more warmth from the sun and he's just gotten a direct hit. So you can see here where he's coughed up, apparently he's regurged a lot of blood. So that definitely indicates that there's some internal issues going on. It's not a good sign. He's, he's not going to be in a good way. We'll get him back to the hospital. It's a good sized snake too. Yeah, and I mean, you can definitely see a, a pretty clear head injury as well. So. Yeah, calm down. This snake would have absolutely zero chance in the wild if we weren't there to help it. It probably wouldn't be able to move and would suffer predation from a bird of prey. So thankfully we're there to give it the best chance we got. found a carpet python on the side of the road, badly injured, there's a lot of blood, and we're currently taking it back to the wildlife hospital to see what they can do. So we're thinking he's been hit by a car, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, mate, what's going on? So we might just see how he moves out of that bag. Hey, buddy. It's all right. All right, we'll let him do his thing, let's see. You can definitely see there's some blood around his mouth, mm -hmm. so he's probably been hit in that head region. Hey, mate, you've got to move a little bit. I'm you sorry, bit. buddy. Yeah. But he's moving with good coordination, so if he's been he hit is. in the head, we want to make sure that he's not having yeah. um, brain trauma. Yeah, for sure. That's yeah. really good. For sure. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, well, we might 
pick him up. I'm quite happy with seeing how he Sounds moves. Sounds good. All right. This python actually seems to be moving okay, but we really need to check the most sensitive area, which is around his mouth, where he's losing a huge amount of blood. Quite swollen too in that face, like you can tell he's yeah. a bit swollen. Yep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Carpet pythons are non-venomous, but their teeth are razor sharp. If you get bitten on the face, it's not fun. There is no way I... Oh. Makes you jump every time. Because <laughs> the bites don't hurt. It's just yeah. since he jumped, yeah. And this thing's so come abrupt. Off. Sorry, mate. Yeah, so a lot of soft tissue trauma in the back yeah. there. As you can see all that bruising. Oh, that bleeding. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah, he's gotten smashed. Oh, poor guy. Mm -hmm. Since we don't know exactly what happened and what the nature of this accident was, we're going to take some x-rays to see exactly what's going on and check the skeletal structure of his jaws. Because if they have too much trauma in that area, they simply won't be able to catch their food and there's no way they're going to survive. Yeah. Do you notice anything a little abnormal or is it all...? Um, there's definitely some little, what I would think, hairline fractures. Yep. Um, right, okay. Right in the... both sides. Okay. Um, but not completely through. So they're right. nice and stable, right. so he will cope very well with that. Yeah. With all that blood that was in his mouth, he might have aspirated a little bit down too. Okay. Yep. So we'll start him on some antibiotics. Yep, And, um, yeah, get him rested up in our reptile ward. Right. Even though this carpet python has fractured his jaw, he's still able to swallow. So if we can get him on that pain relief, there may actually be a chance he can pull through. His life is in our hands. We're coming back to check on the carpet python. With the jaw fractures that she has and the huge amount of blood that she would have swallowed in this incident, we're very, very concerned about how she's doing. Hello, oh, sweetie, how's it going? Even though we weren't overly optimistic when we picked up this snake, we are still very hopeful that it makes a full recovery, especially after the sad news of Jack the Goshawk. For the amount of blood that she lost and, you yeah. know, the state she was in, I mean, she looks amazing. All right, uh, well, if you grab the bag. Sorry, darling. You're all right. She's in such good condition. Second. She's looking oh, great, wow. isn't she? I'm really delighted You're that right. in just 24 hours, she's actually made a full recovery. There you go. Oh, she's looking great. Oh, That's awesome. Good girl, don't you bite me on face. We've also found that this carpet python is, in fact, a girl. And I've been calling her a him this whole time, and I don't think she's very happy about it. Don't crawl back out now. It's good to know now. And she's been given the name Molly. All right, let's get her out there. The get next step from here is to release her back into the wild. Thank you. We're all very, very happy, for sure. Oh, it looks like a good spot. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Just there, yeah, perfect tree. She'll be so happy. Oh, this is awesome. Let's see how she goes. All right, Molly, you ready to go, little one? Every day on rescue is filled with highs and lows. Yeah, she looks amazing compared to when she came in. That massive pool of blood. Yeah. Poor thing. But then you get a happy story, just like Molly the carpet python, and it just lights a fire under all of us, and we all realize this is why we do it. Go up there. What do you reckon? Looks like a good There's tree. There's your new home. Good oh. girl. Good girl. I think she likes it. Oh, look at her go. Look at that. Oh, that is perfect. Good job, Molly. Well done, oh, that's Molly. So cool. How oh, beautiful I is love that? love watching them climb. Oh, it's incredible. Having to say goodbye to that beautiful raptor, Jack, was really tough. But then to see an animal like Molly make an amazing recovery, giving them that second chance, it just makes your heart sore. It's amazing. That's awesome. Thanks, Molly. Ha, ha, ha.